Pam Carter, president of the Mariposa Folk Foundation. With me I've got Margaret O'Leary, and Margaret is the lucky winner of the Mariposa's 50-50 draw. What a, what a great uh, event that was for you. Can you tell us about your history with Mariposa? You've been a supporter for a number of years. Actually, when it first came back to Aurelia, I was working at the Family Resource Center. So we, uh, loving everything we do with kids, set up in the children's area for a few years there. Uh, until the mandate changed a little bit and uh, we weren't able to attend on behalf of where I work so then I started volunteering uh, but the f last four years consistently I've been uh, gifting my brother uh, his birthday gift so that's every year for the last four years we've spent uh, uh, our weekend at Mariposa together and that's great and your brother obviously enjoys the festival as you do Absolutely. That's great. Yeah, he, it's his one big outing every year, so he really looks forward to it, and, and he has said that's what keeps him going. Yes. So, And your brother's got a disability, so it's, it's important yes. that, he, that he come with you and uh, get to enjoy the festival. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful festival. People were just so beautiful and honoring, and from child to senior stopping to ask him questions. and. Uh, listening to him share his story and you know, little experience. kids walking by touching him and I, he, I know he felt like it was a very special weekend. That's nice. Yeah, Mariposa yeah. is magical in, in yeah. lots and lots of ways, which Absolutely. is great. Yeah. So you would just taken your brother home and I yes. drew the 50-50 ticket and called your name out and a great roar came from the crowd. Oh, nice. Margie, Margie, where's Margie? Yeah. And so uh, you got lots of phone calls and, mm -hmm. and you came back to the festival. So when you came back, Margaret, you told us a really compelling story about how important that the 50-50 win was, yes. was to you. Can I you share that with us? I was yes. I was sharing the story about uh, my brother who uh, I was honoring his birthday and he hasn't been well for a number of years. He's actually been diabetic since he was a young child. Uh, also had had a sister who was and we lost her a couple of years ago and it's just such a horrible condition to have and it just keeps changing and evolving uh, and I just want to make sure you know every year I think this might be the last one so it's not a choice we have to go and and have a great time and he loves the main event every year he stays late Saturday night and to the point where we were locked out of the house when we got back and okay. had to ring for a nurse and yeah that was pretty interesting but uh, no we had the best time and you, you went on to then to tell us about being in the humanities 101 program at Lakehead University yes. and how that that altered your life to a certain absolutely extent. I feel like everything has altered my life <laughs> to an extent uh, so when I was in between jobs uh, before coming to early on uh, I just like to keep busy. It's uh, uh, how my mom raised us, so I was taking advantage of many of the workshops at Agilic and had kind of exhausted all those resources and done all the programs and they were like, well, you just check this out, this humanities course. It's uh, an amazing opportunity to uh, get a feel for what university might be like, you know, something that you're interested in. And uh, so I, I went and I absolutely loved it. And uh, just such beautiful programs every week uh, that were very empowering. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think all those little pieces kind of helped me make sense of uh, earlier life and, and uh, the way my mom taught us to uh, be grateful and uh, honor the gifts that you run across in life. So and then you went on to start some charity work of your own to give back to the yes. community. I had a summer off and it was right after my brother had his rare spinal stroke so he needed his home retrofitted to be able to go back home so I spent the summer uh, fundraising to get uh, gifts from the community and, and raised about ten thousand oh. dollars to get his house retrofitted so he could go back home and he wasn't able he did go back home but uh, other circumstances uh, came into play and he wasn't able to stay there so yes. he's been in the home since then. But second one came along so I, I jumped in on that as well with uh, actually fo I, I managed the er emergency baby needs depot Great. for Aurelia and uh, had a student from uh, Lakehead and she had to have uh, an event so we came up with uh, rock the babies because we know music brings money and uh, people come out for music and we have amazing local talent 
So I contacted Stephen Henry, a local mm -hmm. musician, and he came to put together an amazing band. I didn't even know who was going to be on the stage until uh, people started asking, how did you get these guys here? Like, it's so hard to get this right. crew. Uh, and uh, I'm like, Stephen Henry. I had nothing to do with that part of it, but uh, uh, again, we raised uh, $10,000 for the Baby Needs Depot, and that was three years ago, and it's still there. So. Wow. You know, this community steps up every time. And, Very generous. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, good on you. So, you know, as you can see, Margaret's a great supporter of the Mariposa Folk Festival, as she is a community supporter, and uh, her activities and actions have certainly gone to benefit others. And I'm so pleased to be able to say now that Margaret's won the Mariposa 50-50 draw as a result of her support, and hopefully that, uh, that winning will help you. You're going on a big trip. I'm going on a trip, yes. Yeah. First time in many, many years. But yeah. Well, hopefully the, this win will help you and uh, allow you to do some extras <laughs> while, you're, while you're on your Definitely. trip. Definitely, yes. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And that's yeah, great. Well, beautiful. thank you so much for uh, speaking with me today, and I wish thank you well you. on your trip and safe travels. Yes, thank and you we'll so much. we'll see you at Mariposa 2020. Absolutely, we'll be there.